I realized that multi-touch for air was pretty good, but it still needed a few things. So I added a class called touch pull, and this is just a little demonstration of it. Uh, for example, touch and pull, and you get this nifty little uh, circle that tells you in the middle, it tells you what degree you rotated at. So you'll see it go from, you know, zero to 180 over to 360 and then back to zero again. Um, and that happens, you know, from no no matter where you pull, you'll see that I'm always going at 180 degrees when I'm going at 180 degrees. Uh, one of the other neat things I put on there is if you look at the top of where it, where it says left, if you can see it, that will change to up left, up, um, you know, down left, and down depending on the direction. And... Uh, that has that dispatches on you know direction change so you have that so you know when the users change the direction um, that way so when you do air to ios you can know if they're trying to swipe left or swipe right uh, one of the other things is i put on here is uh, that number at the bottom is kind of a velocity mechanism it's nothing too complex it's the distance divided by uh, the amount of time you've been pulling this thing for. So the longer you pull it, the smaller it gets, you know, the lesser amount of velocity the person's trying to put in their pull. Um, so using that, you can figure out a, a number of other things. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but uh, this is also, it's multi-touch ready, so you, know, you can go nuts on, on pulling stuff around and having fun with whatever, so that way, if you're doing a game that does multi-touch, you can use this for that. Um, that is about it.